Yeah, it was a, um, you know, it's a disappointing loss. I thought, you know, we we just didn't we didn't play well. We struggled with breaking the press, and and it um, created a lot of um, problems for us. Um, it was just a long, a long day trying to get the ball down the floor. It seemed like, but um, you know, we've just got to get better. We're just not anywhere near we are. This is a process with this team, and we, you know, we've. The, the interesting thing about losses are it shows you your weaknesses, and so, you know, we can we can learn a lot from the game. The loss is disappointing, but no way defines who we are or who we're going to be as the season progresses. So, um, you know, right now we just have to deal with the disappointment of a of the loss, and but we've got to get better, and um, and we will. Now, it seemed like Georgia took advantage of the way the referees were calling the game and just out-toughed your team today. Yeah, they, yeah, I, thought, I, do, I do think they out-toughed us today. And, um, but I don't think the refs had anything to do with it. I mean, it was just, you know, you've got to make your opportunities and you've got to take care of the basketball. You've got to keep them off their offensive boards. I mean, we just, this is two games in a row where we've just given up way too many second chance opportunities and you're just not going to win a lot of games that way. And there's a, there's a degree of toughness that you have to have to do that. And, um, and we didn't have that today. I think knowing that it was, especially in the, once the second half started, that it was going to be tougher to come back in it and then stay in it. How do you think the team responded internally just to knowing that that was not going to be the easiest stretch of basketball to possibly get on top? Coming back from halftime, is yeah. that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just, especially in a game like this, a rivalry game, I mean, you've got to really be on your piece. <laughs> you've got to be on it. Um, and we just never really got clicking in the second half, it seemed like. We just didn't – what, did we cut it to four or something maybe at one point? Um, but we just never could get into a rhythm. And that's our, our lack of ability to really break that press efficiently um, just really hurt us and um, something we've, we've got to get better at. You talked about, you know, second chance uh, points. They, I think they had 20 offensive rebounds, which is really – yeah. Yeah, lot. that's and just a a lack of interior defense. It seemed like today. Yeah. You know what? It, it's it, it, are your interior defenders not aggressive enough, or what are you seeing there? Well, we mix. We were mixing our defenses up a little bit, so they got some of those opportunities against our zone, which um, offensively, like some bounce passes in there in between. We didn't drop down. We didn't have the correct coverage. And then we missed box out opportunities while we were in our zone also. But, you know, no excuse. There, I have absolutely no excuses. Right now, we just didn't play our best basketball today. And we needed to play our best basketball. And we did. Even with the rebounding number, I think y'all still out, out stole them on the defensive side. Did what, what, I guess on that part, do y'all think you were playing fast enough to at least create some havoc and some chaos down there to at least give yourself some breakaway chances and transition buckets? Well, we had some really nice breakaway opportunities and miss, we missed some, some shots. So, you know, that's, that's kind of been a problem for us also, um, not finishing at the rim when we have those, those opportunities. But we've got to get tougher. Our interior has to get tougher. Um, we've got to be, a, you know, we have to have at least a, a tougher presence. And I, I think that we were going through some real growing pains, trying to, you know, Nerea Hermosa trying to learn how to be the primary big down there without Lorella Kubai. You know, there's, there's some growing pains there for her. We're not as big as we were last year um, with our other players. But, you know, all we can do is just learn from it and keep working. I'm not, I'm not discouraged. I'm not, um, you know, it's just disappointing. But I'm not discouraged. It just makes me, I think, even more um, determined and aggressive to get better uh, quicker. So we've got work to do. Through the, the first quarter in, into the second, you had you know, five and seven point leads with maybe chances to, to stretch that lead a little. And you, you didn't take advantage of the 50-50 balls. They, they really they killed they got every loose ball that was out Absolutely. there. Absolutely, they did. So that's another toughness problem for us. So it's, um, yeah, they killed us with the 50-50 balls. Um, and we knew it was happening to us. And, and uh, that's something we've got to get better at and, and uh, have a more of a high priority on that. 
you've had a chance to to maybe use different combinations out there. Uh, are you getting a better of idea of you know what, how, what, how you want to proceed with your rotation? Not yet. We're not. We're just not there yet. You know, I think that we still have work to do with that because I think that there's still playing time to be earned. Um, so we're just not. We're not quite there yet. On the toughness thing you keep that you note on, is that something else to practice? Is that just a mental thing? Is there a way to? It's both. I think you have to practice. Has to be a part of that, and and mentally you've got to figure out who you want to be on the basketball court because there's no room for no room for <laughs> non-toughness. I don't know how you want to say it. That you just it is what it is. That's what the game is. You've got to be tough, and and there's times where you got to be tougher than others. And today, we weren't. The, it seemed like when they started to press, that changed the course of the game. Yeah. Do you feel like your team maybe picked up their dribble too soon a lot of times? Well, we just didn't get the ball down the floor. We were going back and forth, and we weren't trying to get the ball down the floor. And that was, you know, it was just, it was just difficult for us. I think we got tired at the end, and I think our, I think we drifted mentally, and um, we weren't cutting hard to the ball. So if, look, there's got to be five players working in 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 sync to. To break a press like that, there's big size on the top of that press, and and um, they run that thing and they run it really well. And so um, we just we weren't we weren't moving quick enough and fast enough and getting to gaps so we can make passes to the right places. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, y'all. Uh huh.